Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to export the iClone project as FBX file as a 3D scene. It also includes the, the avatars, characters, and also any animations. The whole scene export as an FBX file, which includes animations. So now we just have a demo. For example, now I create an avatar here. But just drag out an avatar, for example, a CC avatar. Alright, now I give some animation for this avatar. I will click contents, I, I click here, and I will create a motion for this avatar. I clone 7 motion, the male. For example, I give this. So now you can see the, the animation is there. And now I want to create some props as the scenes. So where is the prop? You have to click here and select the prop. I have so many props here. So to make it just a demo, I will just use a simple, a simple one. For example, now I create a box here. And I also create a cone here. A cone is... Where is the cone? Okay, now I use this cone. And for example, now if I change the color as well, the color is under the texture. I drag down. I change the diffuse color, for example. And then, let's say I want this to rotate after 2 seconds. 1 second, 2 seconds. I want it to totally rotate about 2 seconds. Sorry. Wait. I change the pivot to the center. And I press E to make a rotation. Alright, now I back. It has certain rotations without 2 seconds. At the same time, after a few seconds, I want this cone to move to that position. So now this cone should already at this position, and then I back. Now you can see the whole 3D animation scene already there. I just play. You can see some motions are there. So now, I want to export the whole scene, include all the animations as an FBX file. Use the FBX file so that you can use it in any other 3D software. So I will just click File, Export, Export the FBX. And I can set certain range actually. So the range, 1 seconds, 2 seconds, 3 seconds. I want totally have 3 seconds of range here to export the FBX together with the animation. So now, I click, I already set the range here and I file export as FBX file. And here, the first one is choose your target two sets, which software that you may want to use it. Let's say maybe I want to use the Maya. And then the FPS frame per second. Okay, now I select the range and maximum texture, size, embedded texture, okay. So all of this, you can just follow. And then, now I click export. And as demo, I will export on my desktop. Now, I will just name it animation 01, I save. Now, it is an FBX file here. It also included all the texture, and this is, this is a single This is a, a single FBX file. Now, for example, if I want to use other 3D software, the FBX file is universal for almost every 3D software. For example, I start my Maya, my, my Autodesk Maya, and just have a look.
Okay, now we just want to check whether the animations is that together with the FBX file, is that everything complete? Is that a really complete animation FBX that you can export it from iClone? So just drag in the FBX file into the Maya and let's have a look first. And I think we have to rescale it. If I click play, actually something is moved. So now you can see something wrong there uh, just because of when I export it, this is selected. If I file export, export the FBX file, and this is the range. And actually, I have to select everything. So now I, I, I click, I press Q and then I double click this and hold the control, double click. Okay, just a single click. The avatar also click. Now three selected together. Again, I try again. The Maya, I, I'll just use a new, new scene and don't save it. Now you see, three are selected together. File, export, FBX. As the Maya, I export it. So all of these are already on, on my desktop, I just delete it, delete, press delete button to delete the old one. So now I already clear my desktop and I export as animation 01 FBS, I save. Wait, okay so now nothing is here, empty, empty the recycle bins and now these three things I selected together and file export FBX. Here, the Maya, and I select range, embedded texture, I export it on my desktop as animation, 01 is the file name, I save it. Now, it's saved as FBX file, and now let's have a look. The whole FBX file I import into Maya, and I drag in, and how many things are there? Wait for a few seconds until it finished loads. Now it's 99%. It's also importing the animation as well and deformation, everything. So now everything's are there. And let's have a look. So now I may just want to show all the texture. And then, now, the texture is not yet finished loaded. Alright, now, I try to play, the play is at here, play, so now you can see the whole scene's animation is already there. Now it is really awesome, in the iClone, once you create the whole scene and the animations, you can export it out as the animation FBX file, export the whole scene, you have to make sure you selected everything. You can select in this way, just click click selected one and then this is under the scene. You click selected one already and hold the control and click the rest so that all selected together and export it out as as the whole scene include animation FBX. The FBX file will include the animation. And that's all for today about how to export the FBX file with animations in iClone and export it as FBX file for any other 3D software like Maya, Blender, Unreal Engine, etc. And this is really awesome. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all to activate all the notifications. So that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you will receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.